Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Willy and today we are talking about Blizzard. What comes to mind when you think of Blizzard as a developer? Would you say they've become a success through innovation, creativity and boldness? Through the willingness to put things out there and try new ideas? Or through perfecting different game genres, being a reliable, trustworthy company that you know will assure excellent quality products? Personally, I feel as though they fit into the latter description, be it to a lesser degree than in years past certainly, but they're all the same. Whilst the former words may have been relevant early on for Blizzard, it's not been their way of doing things for some time. Historically, they've been the company that takes good ideas and makes them great, leaning heavily on the Warcraft franchise for content across their games. Looking at almost all of their titles at the moment, you can see that previous to each one's release, there was a framework in place that they built upon. Gone from EverQuest, Lineage and Ultima to World of Warcraft for the MMO genre, from Age of Empires, Civilization and even Blizzard's own Warcraft Orcs and Humans, into Starcraft for the RTS genre. From Magic the Gathering and Pokemon into Blizzard digitizing it and bring us Hearthstone for the card game genre. From League of Legends and Defense of the Ancients into Heroes of the Storm for MOBAs. From Team Fortress 2 to Overwatch for FPSs. And in fact, Diablo was really the only standout game they have. It was inspired by a game called Moria, a 2D roguelike based on the minds of Moria from Lord of the Rings. A framework being in place has been more the case for some games than others, that's for certain, but it's always been a trademark of Blizzard to build on either their own or others' successes. Now, I'm not disputing there always is some form of inspiration in a creative process, but for Blizzard, it's been one of the main factors across their games. And Blizzard certainly have found tremendous success with this formula. While blue competition out of the water, StarCraft still has some of the best prize pools in professional gaming, and Hearthstone is still the biggest player for the online card games. Overwatch has taken the ability-based shooter and thrown enough money to get an eSport out of it. On the other hand, Diablo, whilst it had its glory days as one of Blizzard's first major titles, time really has taken its toll on the genre, and Blizzard did not do its fan base any justice either with the mobile announcement last year at BlizzCon. Blizzard's attempt at a MOBA, ironically, has been their biggest flop to date, given that the MOBA genre came from a player-made Warcraft 3 mod, Defense of the Ancients. Heroes of the Storm came into a market dominated by two established major players in League of Legends and Dota 2, and whilst it attempted to introduce some new elements, Heroes of the Storm never really grew into the game Blizzard hoped for, and it was announced last year that Blizzard will be moving developers away from Heroes of the Storm and discontinuing the Blizzard-hosted competitive scene. Blizzard has tried their hand at many of the mainstream online game genres, so can we expect Blizzard's Battle Royale? It always seems impossible for a genre to be dethroned when it's reigned for so long, but as Blizzard themselves wrote, No king rules forever, my son. Gone from MMOs to MOBAs and now to BRs, and the Battle Royale market really is relatively new and still going strong. The explosive success of the BR genre had been simmering away for some time now, with numerous titles popping up and receiving good traffic, but never really proving more popular than League of Legends. And that was until Fortnite came along. Since then, so many new games, as well as existing ones, have tried their hand at taking a piece of the BR pie, but almost all of them have been quite short-lived in terms of success. It seems like a very high-risk market, it didn't stop Blizzard with Heroes of the Storm, but will it here? In the past, Blizzard would often take a while to release things, saying updates will be released when it's done or soon TM. Is that the case at the moment? Usually big announcements like this would be saved for BlizzCon. Though I can only imagine the amount of grief Blizzard would get for announcing a Battle Royale may even match the Diablo Mobile announcement. Personally, I don't think making a BR would be a good move for Blizzard either for their pockets or for their reputation. As mentioned before, if Heroes of the Storm has taught Blizzard anything, it's that if a market appears saturated, you're going to have a lot of trouble convincing players to swap from the established titles. 
And from a reputational standpoint, Blizzard aren't in too many people's good books at the moment. While it's going through quite a lackluster expansion, the Overwatch League is stale and plagued with goats. Heroes of the Storm funding has been pulled, the competitive scene discontinued, and Diablo's big announcement at BlizzCon last year was a slap in the face to veterans of the game. These combine with the announcements that many of their better developers have been moved to mobile releases, now does not really seem like a prudent time to go for the latest cash grab. I'm certain Blizzard announcing a BR would create even more negative press for them, and that Blizzard enthusiasts would echo this sentiment. All this considered, Building on success is what Blizzard has done, and will no doubt continue to do. The market is certainly there, and it is a type of game that Blizzard have not yet touched. So, will we be dropping in with Arthas, Thrall, or Jaina? I sure hope not. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Cheers.